Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's another gorgeous day here in Benidorm. Um, it's not too hot, but it isn't too cold either. It's a perfect working day. Got Buddy's bar behind us. I will flip you around in a minute, give you a better look at that. But before I do get on with the video, um, in the news as of recent, there has been a few fires in the sort of Valencian area. One being a wildfire in Valencia, sort of run by apartments as well. I heard that were quite bad. There's also been one the back of Altea. That were quite a big wildfire. And apparently as well, they were around somewhere in Benidorm this morning, up the back of Benidorm. Apparently like, someone could see smoke down on Poniente Beach, so I'm not entirely too sure where it but that when we're located, but I mean, as usual, I hope everyone is safe, I hope everything sort of been put out. Hopefully there hasn't been any casualties, injuries or fatalities. Anyway, let's flip you around and get on with today's adventure. Oh, there we are. So day and night there, um, I've been a chinwag with my mic on my down. Apparently they've changed stuff in there. So it's not as good as it once was. Drop a comment down below. And of course, there's recently reopened Buddy's Bar. And well, I hate to say it, it don't really look like much has been changed. To be honest, it just seems like they've done a bit of paintwork to it, added a new sign and that's about it really, but still good to see them open again. Gonna head down to Benidorm British Square now. Um, gonna try a more vlog style video. So as we come down to the next sort of bit, the sort of second bit of the British Square up here, we all want the kind of derelict area. I will show you what I mean. So, of course, you have the old bird cage there, which, um, funnily enough, named bird cage because it does seem like it is now home to birds. Like I think maybe there's some birds nesting in the walls there. Next door to that the arts and archers which still has nothing done to it. All that's really been done to it is I've sort of removed different area from it and well now it's just a shadow that it used to be. I think the way you see going on down here though at the end of Sinatra's I think that is just for the apartments next door. <laughs> Sorry I've got it cups guys. But if you sort of look up the back there, you do have like a sort of step way up to some apartments. So I think that's just what's going on there. Hotel Survey Group Orange as well. Uh, I've heard that's quite a nice hotel actually. Is that where the orange men stop? The marches? Maybe. Maybe where all the umpa lumpers stay when they come for their holiday in Benidorm. 
anyway, now we're going right on down towards the main area of the nightclub square. And there is some good stuff coming up down there. Um, if any of you watch the night videos that went up the other day, you would have seen how good it looks down there now. Um, not as busy as it normally is, but it isn't really start of season yet. There are some people here. There's a beautiful Camden town. Eh? They have got music on, so I'm going to have to shift my ass on a bit. So, of course, everyone's favourite Cafe B. Of course, everyone probably knows it as, of course, Kenneth D. Beck's favourite nightclub. Cross the road is Champions. Um, they've got a octagon dance floor. Bit of a weird thing. So, the weird bit about it, right? The weird bit of it is they do erotic combat. So, basically just women having a fight. Bit weird, that really, but I mean, it's Benidorm, so everything's weird here in Benidorm. Course, you got Bahamas there, and thanks to Matt Mike, we did get to see the lovely sort of light bars on it at their uh, full potential at work the other night and it looks amazing. Full Monty Magic Mike Ladies Night in there every Thursday, Friday and Saturday ladies. Get it guys. booked. Yeah, it's not him. Because, I mean, he'll be paying him to put his clothes back on. Hippodrome there is so nice, but uh, the Square Dance Club, and we have, of course, got what used to be beachcombers there. Um, the question is, though, are they still going to be called beachcombers, or are they going to come back under a new name? That is my question. But, as you can see guys, I've got that beautiful tiger's head on the front there. That is just cool. Then I've got sort of the big hand up there. There's a tiger's head again. That just looks amazing and sort of weird at the same time to be honest so I really do think there's still a lot of work to be done there but it is alright to see something happening to it though fingers crossed open some point in the season maybe never really know because it does look as if there's still a lot of indoor work to do and external work to do, so you're just keeping your fingers crossed that they can get finished very soon. I actually think they will still be keeping the Beachcomber's name because, of course, the Beachcomber's logo is like a Jaguar type thing, so I mean, you could say that. That's a Jaguar's head on the top of the bar. So, never know, never know. Got the railway bar there and just up in the secret little area is Secret Gardens. If 
very nice place to go. So, of course, there's the railway with the train sticking out the side of the wall there. Absolutely amazing how I've done that. Anyway, flip this round. Make sure to smash that like, guys. Smash the subscribe. Don't forget, I've got my Buy Me A Coffee down below, as well as a new book. And it's another day in the office. It's another day in paradise. Thanks for watching.